The puppy trade is the single biggest issue that Scottish SPCA deal with that compromises and causes suffering to animals. Hundreds of people across the UK are breeding dogs in horrific conditions and selling the puppies on with complete disregard for their welfare. The Scottish SPCA Undercover Investigations Unit, along with other charities around the UK, are working tirelessly to put an end to this cruelty. We could deal with nothing else but the puppy trade and probably still not scratch the surface. The UK as a whole has an unquenchable appetite for dogs and pups. The puppy trade is built on the foundation of compromising the welfare of all dogs. There's nothing in it for the dogs. It's all about profit above welfare. The conditions within these puppy farms are absolutely horrendous. And each time I go, I'm equally shocked. The smell is atrocious. Dog urine and dog feces. Dogs are cramped into small enclosures. The noise is overwhelming with barking and puppies whining. And it is like a scene from hell. These neglected and often poorly puppies are then put up for sale. Unsuspecting members of the public who are going to buy a pet are not in the mindset of, oh, I better watch out for puppy farms. This was a reality for Lorraine McCorriston. I decided I wanted a wee pup, and so I went online. I think I put in pups for sale, and all these websites came up. So I seen Maisie, and I went, oh, I want that wee pup. When the seller offered to bring Maisie to Lorraine's house, she thought it was out of kindness. She texted me and said that she was actually coming up to Glasgow and if it would be helpful, she would just bring Maisie up. So I said, oh, well, that's fine then. And that's what she done. It wasn't long until Lorraine realised she'd bought Maisie from an unscrupulous puppy dealer. We got Maisie on the, the Monday, but by the Friday night, Maisie had turned really, really quite ill. She had been really sick and a lot of diarrhoea. We were told that Maisie might not survive. Then we were looking at her, having to let her go. <laughs> Maisie pulled through and was able to come home. She became a huge part of the family. But the health problems caused by her horrible start in life just continued. Maisie was prone to having frequent bouts of colitis. And she would go quite down, quite flat, and she, no medicine was shifting it. She just wasn't pulling through at all. So we thought, so no, she's not happy. So we made a decision we'd need to see her go. And we took her to the end of Monday, and that was her. Sadly, Lorraine and Maisie's story is a reality for many others. One in four puppies bought from a puppy farm die before they reach their fifth birthday. We are dealing with about 40 reports a week of people that are buying pups that have become either seriously unwell or died. Raising awareness and educating people about the right way to buy a puppy is the key to ending this heartache. Buy from a person that you've been either directed to, you've done some homework about, go and have a look at the pup. Do not buy unless you buy from the person's premises. Don't have them bring their pup to your house. If the public was to do that, that would drastically and radically change the illegal puppy trade overnight. Because if there's no consumers buying their illegal pups, there's no profit in it for them, and they'll move on to something else. Sadly, it's too late for Maisie but she'll always have a place in Lorraine's heart. If Maisie came from a reputable breeder, I'm sure we'd had her about 12 years or something like that, so we only had her for four years. Um, no long for a dog, absolutely no long for a dog. <laughs>